going so far? Mine is going fine. I'm going to make me a sandwich out of this fish fillets I bought from Aldi. This is the Fremont, Fremont brand. Wild caught beer battered fish fillets. This is what they look like on the package. Fremont Fish Market. Wild caught beer battered fish fillets. This is what they look like. Frozen. So I'm going to put them in here. I'm going to make a sandwich. I'm going to put three of them in here. In my uh, air fryer. I got the um, perforated parchment paper in here. I don't even think I have to spray it. I'm gonna spray it. I'm taking no chances. <clears throat> I'm gonna use this my avocado oil. Light spray. Not putting any salt or anything on it. Okay, let's see what I'm doing. Walter's been air frying a lot, so he's been using my Power XL a lot. Turn it on. I'm gonna set this for 400, so I cook everything at 400. And I'm going to set it for the same amount of time as I do my chicken wings. 24 minutes. Start. And I will be back. Okay, my air fryer is on 17 minutes. So, people always ask me. I get this question a lot. Which air fryer do I like the best? The New Wave Brio or the Power XL? They cook the same, but I was able to buy a grill pan with my New Wave Brio. So, of course, I use it. I like it best. But they cook the same. So, if you buy the Power XL, it cooks great. And mine is old, and it works great. And I use my New Wave Brio all the time because it's new and because of the grill pan. I wish I had a large, like six quarts or larger stainless steel air fryer, then I would buy that. Stainless steel air fryer with the fry basket, the stainless steel. Okay, I'll be back when I'm ready to turn this fish over. I'm going to check it right now. It's on 16 minutes. I think I had to spray it, but I sprayed it just a little, and it looks good. And this oil coming out of this, just like oil comes out of your, your wings with the skin on it. Okay, I'll be back. I was in the next room, and I smell this fish, so I think it's time to be turned. It's on a, the number 10 now, 10 minutes. crispy on this side. I don't want to drop it on the floor. This side needs to be cooked. I'm going to flip it. Just tear that piece up a little. You know what? I'm going to use my little bitty spatula to flip these without burning my hand. Because you can get third degree burns if your hand or arm 
utensils go out there front. So be very careful. Not even gonna spray that side. It smells good. So, let it continue cooking the rest of this 10 minutes. So, what did I set it on to start with? I set it for 24 minutes. So, I'm gonna let it cook. And I'll be back. And I got my bread and my cheese ready, and my hot sauce on standby. I think I'm gonna catch up on it too. Okay, I was in the other room editing my wig video. It's on 40, 46 minutes. I know I smell it, so it's done. I'll turn it off. It's so windy outside. Got my bread. My artisanal bread and my mild, no, this is medium cheddar cheese and my hot sauce. This is crispy. Putting this right on the cheese so it can melt that. Waffle don't usually like um, frozen fish. Can I put three on here? Ouch. I'll put three. I'm not going to put salt on it because there's a lot of sodium in this batter. There's another one in here. Nice and crispy. Put some Frank's Red Hot Hot Sauce. So this hot is salt in the hot sauce, so I don't want to catch it. right now. But I do want to warm this bread up some. Let's stick this in the microwave for a second. He got his tea in here. Heat up for a couple seconds. That's good. I want to taste it. I melted the cheese a little bit. I hear that crunch. That's how my sandwich looks. Still smoking. I want to taste it, but I don't want to burn my mouth off. 
burn off all my taste buds, then I can't taste my chicken. <coughs> okay, that's the way my sandwich looks, y'all. With the cheese, hot sauce, and that soft bread. I heated it up just a little bit. I want to thank you all for watching. Leave me a, a, a nice comment. Give me a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel. And uh, you all have a very blessed day. Now I'm going to taste it. Makes a good sandwich, y'all. Mmm. And these things are crispy enough to actually dip in a sauce and just eat it like that without bread. This is a good sandwich. I'm put some more hot sauce on. Okay. I'm going for real now. Bye. Have a blessed day.